Ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning of every single month, I do a fundraiser to keep Thor News up and running. I got $597 left to raise with a day and a half in this fundraiser. So if you'd like to contribute, I got a PayPal, Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and a snail mail address. And any contributions would be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now, on to the romantic comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about Comet C 2019. Why for did you do that, bro? Atlas. And I imagine we're all feeling a little bit like Atlas these days with the world sitting on our shoulders. Let me tell you, this story is fascinating, interesting, and is only going to get brighter, just like the comet itself. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, do I have interesting developments for you, y'all, and aliens. Just three days ago, or two days, when my last update on how bright is Comet Y4 Atlas, it was sitting at about an 8.9 magnitude, or an 8.6. Now, we got to get to about a 4.5 to be able to see it with your naked eyes without the help of binoculars. Um, but hey, guess what? Here comes the big reveal. Comet C2019 Y4 Atlas is now at a 7.1 magnitude. And you might be like, oh, that's interesting, but it is still a long way away, asterisk, from being visible with your naked eyes. But we have two months for this thing to brighten. It may brighten all throughout April and all throughout May. So if 2020 wasn't blowing your skirt up before, you should be Marilyn Monroe by now because this thing is brightening fast. Old silver bearded mystics used to say, you know what? Comets are harbingers of doom. The bigger the comet, the bigger the doom. And well, I'll allow it this time because shit is kind of doomy, you know? Um, literally. And it has been reported that comets can bring diseases, plagues, and viruses. And that seems to be on brand, you know? And so nobody knows what this is going to do. And if you've been following me, Thor Thor News, for the last seven years, Comets usually disappoint, but I got a real funny feeling about this thing. And then you can even throw earthquakes into the mix. I would guess we're going to see a pretty big earthquake in the next two months, if not more than one. So here we're at now, right? And I don't, it doesn't technically pass directly over earth, but it gets close enough to where it's uh, orbital angular momentum may cause some issues, but let me see. Hold on. Uno momento, por favor. Thank you for por favoring. All right. So, as you can see, we're, this is where we're at now. And so, it'll cross Earth's orbit in a couple days, so we'll be watching out for it. And then, it will continue to its closeness to Earth, perihelion for Earth, or Earth helion, call it whatever you want to, man. Words are like whatever these days. But so, as you can see, it's for Earth distance, it'll be less than one astronomical unit, which is the distance from Earth to the Sun. And then, so it will stop, it will get closest, I think it's like a 0 0.8 something, 0 0.81 was my guess. But you notice the sun distance is at a 0 0.6, 0 0.67, 0 0.5. It's going to be like a, see, it gets pretty close. So it's 0 0.71 maybe, closest to Earth. Yeah, so point about 0 0.78 is as close as it gets. But notice to the sun, it gets like 0 0.28. Two seven, two six, and that's what it'll be at point two six one. So like a fourth of the distance from of an astronomical unit. Did I say that correctly? Did I confuse you? And so, and when is that going to be? And that is going to be June first. So this thing has maximum chance of putting on a show, possibly causing earthquakes and volcanoes, 
Um, and maybe even making some neat sounds we can hear. Who knows, man? So, you know, I'm hoping to recalibrate my senses. And, you know, the last three months have really taken a lot out of me. But hopefully I can get my crap together and start making cool edited videos again that are kind of funny and interesting. Because uh, this should be a fun story, asterisk, and hopefully it'll bring some good luck. Because as we watch the old world crumble around us, we've got a lot of potential to create a brand new, better world. We are the world. We are the children. And comets are crazy. You never know what they're going to do. Who knows, man? It could like grow legs and hands and a head and then just land on Earth and be like, hey, guys, I'm here to party. And then it's uh, cyanide dust could actually be like um, a, a laughing gas. And so everyone just parties and has a good time with some dancing comet. I mean, I think the chances of that are like really, really, really low. And they say it's just like a giant chunk of dust and ice and rocks and metals and crap and so technically it's got all those chunks breaking off it as it gets closer to the sun with a gravitational interaction um and so yeah you could be seeing an, a large increase in fireballs in the sky um the sky can even light up like fire who knows another one of the nostradamus quatraints says that in july the sky will be visible, but technically the sky is always visible, but I think he's talking about something else. So you got to stay tuned to see what happens. 2020 is a cliffhanger times a million. What's love got to do with it? Got to do with it. Everything, in my opinion. All right. So this is another fantastic Thor News update. We're brightened from an 8.9 magnitude to a 7.1, which sounds like at least one standard deviation. But sometimes I use words and I don't really know what they mean. Asterisk, who knows, man. I plan to cover this comet like stink on poop because it is a good distraction from the other stuff. So if you'd like to help support me through April, you can make a snail mail contribution, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. I've got a goal of $597 left to go with a day and a half. Super duper thanks to JJ Man C. Nee. Captain Light Knight, the Viking Marine, and Hopi Warrior Princess, Jeffrey, Lynn, Susan, Athena, DDJ, JLL, and Max. And everyone in the Astro Fight Club. The fact that I'm alive and you're alive and we've made it this far, that's pretty spectacular, if you ask me. And so stay tuned. I got a feeling this one could be the one that we've been waiting on. Blue Kachina, Red Kachina, Green Kachina, Pink Kachina. It's the Kachina song. Oh, I'll have to write a Kachina song to go with the, do the Herculubus, Herculubus, Her Her Herculubus. I got to go back and figure out how to sing that song. All right. So everybody stay cool. Um, I am with you in body as spirit. And hopefully we can get on better ground. If I look at my original notes. I predicted that the, everything would be super insane for the first nine months of 2020, and then it would start to calm down. So only five more months of insanity, you know? All right. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Talk to y'all soon.